Maria Montez, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, captivated audiences with her on-screen presence. Perhaps you recall a specific moment from one of her works that left a lasting impact on you. Alternatively, can you pinpoint the first time you recognized her? Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. Stay tuned as we unravel many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this legendary figure. Keep watching for more intriguing details. Maria Montez, a notable actress, left an impressive mark in the world of cinema with a diverse filmography. Known for captivating performances, the talented artist embarked on a journey that showcased skills across various genres. For those new to her work, exploring some of her must-watch movies is a great way to appreciate the contribution to the cinematic landscape. One of her renowned projects is Arabian Nights, where she showcased prowess in bringing fantasy to life. The movie, set in a vibrant and exotic world, is a captivating tale that resonates with audiences. Another gem in the filmography is Cobra Woman, a thrilling adventure highlighting remarkable skills in portraying strong and intriguing characters. For fans seeking an enduring classic, Siren of Atlantis is a must-watch. In this film, her performance adds depth to the intricate narrative, creating a captivating experience for viewers. Alibaba and the Forty Thieves is another iconic piece where she shines, contributing to the rich legacy of this adventurous tale. If you're new to Montez's work, start with these must-watch movies to truly appreciate the contribution to cinema. The diverse themes and captivating characters in these films showcase the depth of her talent and make for an engaging cinematic experience. In conclusion, Montez's filmography is a testament to remarkable skills as an actress. Performances in must-watch movies like Arabian Nights, Cobra Woman, Siren of Atlantis, and Alibaba, and The Forty Thieves continue to intrigue audiences and resonate in the annals of cinematic history. Explore her work to witness the captivating legacy etched in the world of film. Maria Montez, an actress whose life unfolded in the public eye, faced the unrelenting pressure to maintain a youthful facade. The demanding entertainment industry, with its relentless spotlight, placed an arduous burden on her to defy the natural course of aging. This perpetual struggle to stay young was not just a personal endeavor, but a reflection of societal expectations imposed upon women in the limelight. In addition to the pressure to preserve her youth, she encountered significant challenges in navigating the complexities of personal relationships. The public scrutiny of her romantic entanglements added another layer of difficulty to her already demanding life. The intricacies of love and companionship became public spectacles, subject to intense speculation and judgment. Moreover, Montez grappled with the constant need to prove herself in a competitive industry. The quest for roles that transcended stereotypes and showcased her true talent was an ongoing battle. The pursuit of artistic recognition and the struggle against typecasting were inherent in her journey as she aimed to break free from the limitations imposed by preconceived notions. Throughout her life, she faced an array of struggles that extended beyond the glamorous facade of the silver screen. The intricacies of fame, love, and professional challenges painted a nuanced picture of a woman navigating a demanding world. Her story serves as a poignant reminder of the multifaceted challenges that individuals, especially those in the public eye, encounter on their journeys. While awaiting her husband's return from war, Maria Montez authored a novel titled Forever is a Long Time. This creative pursuit followed with her earlier work, where she had composed a handful of poems in Spanish. She sought roles in films such as Orpheus and Samson and Delilah, auditioning for parts like Death and Delilah. Despite her efforts, she did not secure either role. Tina Amont, born in 1946 in Los Angeles, California, is the daughter of Maria Montez and Jean-Pierre Amont. In summary, Maria Montez delved into writing while anticipating her husband's return, penning the novel forever is a long time. Her attempts at securing roles in films like Orpheus and Samson and Delilah proved unsuccessful. Additionally, she became a mother to Tina Aumont, born in 1946 in Los Angeles, California, with Jean-Pierre Aumont. In 1951, a legal battle unfolded as Montez claimed 50,000 from producer Seymour Nebenzil for unpaid dues related to a film. Unfortunately, the lack of success meant she never received the money. 
At just 15, she journeyed to Ireland, briefly participating in plays before marrying a wealthy Irishman. However, unaccustomed to the estate life, she left in 1939 and arrived in New York, where she became a sought-after model, particularly for McCollan Barclay. Her impact extends beyond the realms of cinema. The International Airport in Barahona, Dominican Republic, was dedicated to her in 1997, named Maria Montez International Airport. Even though her Hollywood career faced challenges, she managed to carve out a unique niche for herself as an actress and model, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Montez's journey from Ireland to the bustling streets of New York reflects her resilience and determination. Her ability to adapt and thrive in different environments showcases not only versatility but also unwavering spirit. In the world of modeling, collaborations with McCollan Barclay propelled her into the spotlight, making her a captivating figure in the fashion industry. As we delve into the intriguing chapters of Montez's life, it becomes evident that her story is more than just a testament to her talent. It is a narrative of resilience, ambition, and the pursuit of dreams against all odds. Her impact resonates not only in the annals of history, but also in the hearts of those who cherish the stories of individuals who have overcome adversity. Montez's legacy goes beyond the silver screen and airport dedications. Her remarkable journey from legal battles to the glamour of Hollywood paints an intricate picture of a woman who defied norms and etched her name in the pages of history. She may have faced challenges, but her prowess as a thespian and model remains remarkable. In conclusion, Montez's life is a captivating tale of triumph, resilience, and the pursuit of dreams. Her story continues to intrigue and inspire, making her a significant figure in the world of entertainment and beyond. This narrative, though brief, is a glimpse into the fascinating life of Maria Montez. Universal's highest earning star in the mid-1940s, Maria Montez left an impactful legacy in Hollywood. Educated in a Canary Islands convent, her journey took an unexpected turn when humorously depicted in Gore Vidal's Myron. Notably, she claimed the title of Universal's top-paid actor during the mid-1940s. Her education in a Canary Islands convent added an intriguing layer to her background. In Myron, Maria Montez was humorously portrayed by Gore Vidal, showcasing her versatility beyond the silver screen. During the mid-1940s, she earned the distinction of being Universal's highest-paid star. Raised in a Canary Islands convent, her unique journey unfolded in unexpected ways. Maria Montez, a prominent figure in Hollywood during the mid-1940s, left a lasting impact. Educated in a Canary Islands convent, her journey took a unique turn, adding an intriguing layer to her background. During that time, she claimed the title of Universal's highest paid actor. In the 1950s and 60s, female impersonator Mario Montez drew inspiration from her, modeling his drag persona and name after hers. This association extended to Andy Warhol's films of the 1960s, where Mario Montez portrayed a character inspired by the Hollywood star. Gore Vidal's 1974 novel Myron, a sequel to Myra Breckenridge, featured her as a major character humorously portrayed by Mario Montez. In the early 40s, she posed for a photo judged licentious by the Hayes office. Despite legal battles and unsuccessful film auditions, her resilience and versatility shone through in Hollywood. Her impact went beyond cinema, with the International Airport in Barahona, Dominican Republic, dedicated to her in 1997. Her life is a captivating tale of triumph, resilience, and the pursuit of dreams against all odds. The story continues to intrigue and inspire, making her a significant figure in the world of entertainment and beyond. Born in the Dominican Republic, Maria Montez had a Spanish lineage, being the daughter of the honorary Spanish vice consul in Santo Domingo. Despite her birthplace, her roots were firmly Spanish. After accepting Jean-Pierre Almont's marriage proposal, she faced the reality of his overseas military duties just days after their wedding. With humor, she quipped about enduring cold showers due to his absence. Choosing the stage name Montez, she honored dancer Lola Montes, a favorite of her father. However, the studio intervened, insisting on spelling it with a Z, not an S, against her preference. Her life, marked by international marriages and a Hollywood career, reflects a journey of resilience and adaptation. Maria Montez's legacy endures. Maria Montez, born in the Dominican Republic, was the second daughter among 10 siblings. 
Her father, a textile exporter, held the position of honorary vice consul of Spain in Santo Domingo. Montes's mother, the daughter of political refugees, added a layer of complexity to her family background. Interestingly, she had a sister named Julia Andre. Despite her birthplace, Montes's roots were firmly Spanish and she embraced her heritage. Following her marriage to Jean-Pierre Aumont, who had overseas military duties, she humorously shared anecdotes about enduring cold showers in his absence. Choosing the stage name Montes, she paid homage to dancer Lola Montes, a favorite of her father. Notably, the studio insisted on spelling it with a Z against her preference for an S. Her life journey included international marriages and a Hollywood career showcasing resilience and adaptation. This multifaceted actress, daughter, and wife left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment, demonstrating the ability to navigate diverse experiences. The legacy of Maria Montes is one of versatility and determination in the face of challenges, making her a notable figure in cinematic history. Maria Montes, born in the Dominican Republic, hailed from a Spanish lineage as the daughter of the honorary Spanish vice consul in Santo Domingo. Despite her birthplace, her roots were firmly Spanish, after marrying Jean-Pierre Aumont, who soon faced overseas military duties, she humorously shared anecdotes about enduring cold showers in his absence. Choosing the stage name Montes, she paid homage to dancer Lola Montes, a favorite of her father. Notably, the studio insisted on spelling it with a Z against her preference for an S. Her life journey included international marriages and a Hollywood career showcasing resilience and adaptation. Born the second daughter among ten siblings, her father, a textile exporter, held the position of honorary vice consul of Spain. Montes's mother, the daughter of political refugees, added complexity to her family background. Despite challenges, she embraced her Spanish heritage. Maria left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment, demonstrating versatility and determination. Her legacy endures as a notable figure in cinematic history. This narrative provides a glimpse into the fascinating life of this iconic actress. The captivating story of Maria Montes is a testament to her ability to overcome obstacles and make a mark in the entertainment industry. The movie industry greatly benefited from her talent and resilience, creating a lasting legacy that continues to be celebrated.